good to see you. Long time. Long time. How's everything? Yeah, good. Um, riding in style. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not too bad, right? <sighs> okay. Great new courtesy vehicle here from Genesis, the GV80. We're gonna go. Uh, Go attend the event. We're gonna have a good day. We're gonna cruise. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go watch Love these here. guys do uh, what they do best. All right. Let's do it. How excited are you for the Genesis Invitational? I can't even tell you how excited I am. I have never been to Riv before. Wait, really? Never been. This event, as a whole, is so Hollywood, everyone comes together. You see athletes, musicians, celebrities, obviously the players, but it's just sort of an all-encompassing LA vibe. Love it. Yeah, golf seems to be that thread that ties all these different walks of life together. So to do it at a place like Riv, can't wait. So now that I think about it, Riviera is the first place I think I saw a golfer wear a hoodie. Is that right? Yes, and now it's the big yes. fashion thing to do. I remember how much that resonated with me because as someone who definitely appreciates more of that streetwear feel, to see it kind of start to show up in golf was something that I'll always remember. And it just makes it feel a little more accessible too. Right. I think that's important as the game has progressed and become more popular, you definitely want to open it up to a lot of different individuals from different walks of life. So. You know, even just something as simple as wearing a hoodie on a golf course might invite someone into a game that doesn't feel as inclusive as it really is. That doesn't want to wear a polo every single day. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to wear polos. You don't have to wear khakis all the time. There's a time and a place, obviously, for certain dress codes, and that has to be respected. But there's other places that'll let you get a little looser, and, and those are places that I like to gravitate towards. I don't remember how I first got a club in my hand, but I know that it was the people that I was exposed to mm -hmm. that got me into the game mm -hmm. and kept me coming back mm -hmm. and made it a good environment to be in. So for me, I got a job as a range picker after school and I got addicted to how difficult the game was and how much fun it was to pursue getting better and better and better. Uh, we all can relate to that. It, just, it still hasn't stopped. It's still going on. I just don't pick the range anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here at the Genesis Invitational just because of the progression that we've seen mm -hmm. of not the course but the players how we see it played there's so much that has evolved yeah without a doubt you see this venue it's it's definitely seen some upgrades and innovations throughout the years to kind of accommodate the distance gains and the way a golf game is played now but you know aside from that the players have definitely upgraded the way that they dress to start to Kind of tell their story about who they are, what they kind of like to wear, and like make them feel the most comfortable. We're actually just looking at some of the wardrobe coming through and mm -hmm. how it's very traditional on the top, but mm -hmm. of course you notice the footwear and Always. how athletic it is and the amount that these players are walking <laughs> through four or five days. Yeah, it makes you perfect have sense. The comfort. Makes perfect sense. They're not going to wear these heavy leather sold shoes anymore. They're gonna be very athletic based, make sure they're comfortable, but it's an important piece of equipment. So they put a lot of precedent in what they're wearing, but they're also able to show that style. So definitely and something is definitely something I'm paying attention to. And it's fun to be here as well in the Genesis Lounge because you sort of have all these different viewpoints mm -hmm. and you're able to see how each player makes the game their own. Mm -hmm. And it just makes me think of what I do in my own game, whether mm -hmm. it's my three-quarter wedge shot or my little half punch that I like to hit. There's just so many details that are fun to pick up on. Their short games are so good, so that precedent on wedge play is so important to improving your golf game. If I pull anything from being out here, it's how good these guys are around these greens. It's absolutely incredible. Oh. 